Hello, welcome to Desmod product updates. Today we'll speak about the uh, latest EK announcement. This is about revision 3 EK Supreme HF CPU water blocks. EK announced today that they're changing mounting mechanism and packaging for this block. I don't have it here so I can't use, show you an uh, exact block in my hands but I will try to use a mix of pictures and um, whatever I have here at the store to show you what a new and exciting coming with the revision 3. So the box will stay the same, the same orange box. Internals of the block will stay remain unchanged so there are no changes in performance characteristics. This is only about packaging and only about mounting mechanism. So I printed out a few pictures here. So basically as you can see what they changed they, they put a uh, thumb screws on each four corners of the block so now when you install your block um, you don't need any tools uh, you will just need to screw four screws straight through the motherboard I assume you will have some sort of back plate on the other sides which those screws goes into you don't need to level block anymore you just screw all four to the end and block supposed to be leveled exactly uh, the way it uh, should sit on your motherboard so this is a big improvement for people who start their water cooling um, it became very easy type of mount for this block uh, no tools required um, no worry about how you level each corner of the block and uh, so it's yes it's much easier on other hand I still would like to mention that I really like old mounting mechanism because also it's difficult to to do it in the beginning you need to put four screws through the motherboard and uh, fix them on your motherboard then you put your block and you level it and uh, you need some measurement to make sure the tension is the same and distance the same on all four corners but when you have these screws in place you basically can move any kind of block you want when we did our CPU um, reviews for 2010 we just use a key water block on on heat killer on coolants on swift tag duty Z and uh, XT so any kind of block will fit this universal mounting and at this point it will be basically gone because you go for proprietary type of mechanism and it only fits your block so there's something will be missed when we're moving from revision 2 to revision 3. And keeping that in mind, you actually can now decide what kind of mechanism you'd like to get. If you new user, definitely better to wait a couple of weeks until EK start producing these blocks and you get this easy mount mechanism. For people who are more um, feel more comfortable uh, with um, mounting those screws on your motherboard, you might be actually be better with universal type of um, mounting rather than going with new proprietary type of mounting. Another change that coming with uh, revision 3, EK decides to drop set of impeachment plates you get with your block. As you know, you get a few plates with each block that um, allows you to play with um, uh, performance and restrictions level. So you get less restrictive block and you lose a little bit performance but you can have a better flow so you can play with this. You even have one plate that you can drill holes your own, experiment with this. But I believe most of people never even bother with those plates so EK decides it will be no harm to drop it. And again, if you really would like to get something like this you still need to look to uh, revision 2 of the block that is still probably available in, in majority of the stores in, in, in reasonable quantities and if it will happen much later that probably will be separate options that you can buy uh, separately for yourself so what we have now we have a block similar to swift tech mounting mechanism with this with the screws already attached to the block we're dropping uh, availability of uh, impeachment plates other than that, it will be the same old Supreme HF with the same performance characteristics, no worries here. And as soon as I will get block actual version in my hand, I will be happy to show you it's as a separate video how it looks.